सहनावतु सहन भुन सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मिद्विषा वह ओम शांति 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 साइरा में ब्रीवर we had looked at the chamakka manuvaka one last uh, last time we met that was two weeks ago today we will continue with the second anuvaka of chamakka <coughs> jaishtham chame जैष्ठ्यम चमे जैष्ठ्यम चमे वाइल चांटिंग एक्चुअली यू नॉर्मली वुड से जैष्ठ्यम च म दैट म इज बिकॉज मे हैज ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टू म बिकॉज ऑफ संधि बिकॉज द फॉलोइंग लेटर इज आ the may has become ma okay but without that sandhi it is may okay that's how i put it down as jaishtham cha may <coughs> we will look at um, some of the pronunciation aspects uh, this word has jai okay jai um, after that it is ush ut ya there are three consonants involved in a compound consonant ush is the cerebral sh with the tongue tip of the tongue pointing upwards then the second letter is th which is the second letter in the th varga so it's aspirated th okay and then y so sh ut and y sh t okay um it has to be with a lot of emphasis pronounced shte okay jaishtham chame it may require a little bit of practice uh, for those who are not very familiar with sanskrit get it right so you can practice so jaishtham chame we will look at the meaning jaishtham uh, jaishtham come from the word jeshta jeshta means one who is senior first older one who is prominent okay all that comes from the word jeshta elder all so um jeshtyam chami i don't know whether you all remember that each of this mantra you have to attach something called kalpeta so the thing is kalpatham means make it beneficial make it favorable make it complete all those meanings come okay jaishtyam cha me kalpatha let the prominence which is beneficial to me may it come to me okay that's the belief that's a prayer um, so you can ask uh, what is this prominence Uh, see the second anuvaka is 
all about this extension of the personality. If you look at the first Anuvaka, Anu, first Anuvaka talks about the person, every part of us, every, you know, all aspects of our existence as a person. Um, that's all covered in the first Anuvaka. The second Anuvaka is all about extension of this personality. The reality is that <clears throat> this need to be prominent, to be first, all that is natural for every human being. Uh, in anything, we want to be first, prominent. Uh, we want to be in the public eye, or whatever it is. It is a natural tendency, but the prayer is, let that tendency be beneficial to everyone, to me as well as others. Because, um, you know, we can be striving to be first in many things. But the Lord will say, be first and prominent in sacrifice, tyaga, in showing compassion, in showing love, uh, in sacrificing everything. Uh, so, that quality can be employed in a beneficial way and we are praying to Sri Rudra to grant us that so that that tendency of ours is beneficial. That's the prayer. Okay. Then we will go to the next mantra. <clears throat> Adhi Patyam Chami Adhi Patyam Jame Adhipatyam Jame. Uh, in terms of pronunciation, um, the second letter is Adhi. It's an aspirated one. Mahaprana, which is the fourth letter in the Tavarga. So it has to pronounce as Dhi. Okay. Adhi Patyam. Okay, that's the only one letter which you may have to pay extra attention. Um, we will look at the meaning. <clears throat> Adhipatyam, you know, Adhipati means one who is the Lord or the boss. Okay. So that is also another uh, tendency of all human beings. We want to be in control of all things, of others, our aspects. That's a tendency which is natural. Why it is it is God-given quality, but we are saying Adipatyam Chame Kalpata. So let that tendency of which is in me also let it be beneficial. Okay. Uh, that's command respect, and that's not demand respect, you know. And that whatever even if we have control over people, if people are listening. We should be able to use it in a beneficial manner for everyone, okay? Not from a selfish perspective, but from a selfless perspective. So that is the prayer addressed to Sri Rudra. Adipatyam chame kalpata. If you ask in the Lord, even if we have control over everyone, the Lordship over everyone, let that be used beneficially, that let that be beneficial. See, it has to be beneficial for us because it should not stop us from our spiritual progress. Uh, it should not be identified with the body. It should not be identified with the mind. It should not be. It should be identified with the atma. All only then it will become beneficial. So adipatyam chame. So the real meaning is, oh Lord, you are the Lord. Coming to the realization that the Lord is the adipati. Adipati, who has total control. So that only then it will become beneficial. Adipatyam chame kalpata. We look at the next mantra. Manyus chame. Manyus chame. Manyus chame. <coughs> Um, here there's a sandhi because man, uh, there's in terms of pronunciation there are no difficult consonants. 
but manyuhu cha the visarga kya chikane manyuhu visarga has become ish because of sandhi so that's how you get manyuscha but the simple word is manyuhu talking about uh, uh, sandhi even in adhipatyam chami there is a sandhi because it is um, adhipatyam actually would has to be pronounced as in adhipatyam chami because that is the fifth letter in the cha varga okay anuswara <coughs> the anuswara um, become in because of the cha in pronouncing but adhipatyam chami is also acceptable uh, there also sandhi present but here the sandhi becomes change becomes more pronounced so manyush chame manyuhu chame we'll look at the word manyuhu i think um, we have covered this manyava utota ishave namaha you know rudram the first uh, anuvaka namakam first anuvaka itself we come across the word manyu manyu who is uh, normally translated as anger uh, of rudra okay let that be also beneficial was the meaning we looked at also but manyu also means whatever the mind is also called manyu okay so we are asking let our mind or even the let the anger be beneficial manyuschame kalpata <clears throat> we can ask uh, you know why are we asking the lord for anger okay i think that's the question which may because we are telling rudra himself as anger so we always uh, think we should be without anger okay the reality is anger is a natural phenomenon because it is a reaction of the mind for a situation where something is not achieved it is a natural reaction however that natural reaction which god created one should be put to use beneficially that is the prayer even if we have anger there can be even righteous anger when someone is harmed also there can be anger but the reality is this anger should not dwell in us for too long uh, because uh, anger can be of four kinds anger which is written like writing on the water anger like writing on sand anger which is like writing on a stone anger which is like a writing on steel but the writing on water as the writing goes on it vanishes on the sand it may remain for a little while some wind blows and that will vanish that which is written in a rock will last for a long time and uh, it will take a lot of rain and shine to remove it but what is written in steel could last forever so the anger should not last it should serve its purpose and move on so it should be beneficial because it is a way of telling that something which is not right has taken place something has to be done with it for that purpose god has created that quality but it should be properly managed um, so in that respect i think which uh, i got a excerpt from swami's discourse we can go through of course it is natural for man to resent to grow angry but you should not allow anger free and furious scope the raging floods in the godavari have to be restrained by bands anikats and dams so that the water may reach the sea without scarring the fields on either bank you too must set limits to your own anger and hate and 
honor those limits. You know that first you have to plow the land, feed it with water, then saw the seed, pluck out the weeds, guard the crop by a fence from cattle and goats, and wait patiently for harvest time. So also the heart has to be plowed by means of virtues fed with water of divine love before the seeds of divine name are sown. Later the field has to be watched and weeds have to be destroyed in its best to prevent the cattle from unsteadiness and doubt by putting up the fence of discipline. Then the name of the Lord will flower into meditation and the rich harvest of knowledge can be reaped. This is 1965 discourse. His Swami is talking about anger, which is natural, but it has to be kept under check. <clears throat> so, because as long as the mind is there, anger is natural to develop, but it has to be used beneficially. Sometimes it should be removed also, completely. Okay. So that's the prayer to Sri Rudra. Bhamas Chame Bhamas Chame Bhamas Chame In terms of pronunciation, Bha is the fourth letter in the Pavarka, so it has to be aspirated. Bha. Bha Maschami. Okay, that's in terms of the pronunciation. We will look at the meaning of Bha Maha. Bha Maha, the meaning which most commentators have given, is anger expressed in external sign. Manyu, who is the irritation in the mind, Bhama is the expression of anger. In external science, it, Bha also means light. Okay, Bha also means light. Uh, so Bhama can be light also, you know, which comes out, shines out. So anger also shines out. So in terms of uh, context, I think most commentators have given it as an expression of anger outside. It shines outside. Okay. So Bhamaha. So Bhamas Chame Kalpatam. Let the anchor which shines out also let it be beneficial. So that's the prayer. Because sometimes out of anger we may say something, do something. And let our actions and actions of words let them be beneficial. Even if it's a righteous anger, it has to be beneficial in its result. So that's the prayer. Because without Rudra's help, we can achieve, we cannot achieve that. So we are praying to the Lord. So that even though our there are limitations in us, let them be beneficial with his help. That's the prayer. Bahamas Chame Kalpata. Look at the next mantra. So I, I put the may here for a particular reason. Um, so let me shade it slightly differently, which I had meant to do for some reason. So when we um, chant the mantra, Bhamas Chame Mas Chame. That's the way we chant. But the reality is there's a Sandhi involved where the A becomes an Avagraha or silent. Okay. Bhamas Chame Mas Chame. But actually Bhamas Chame Amas Chame. 
If you split the Sandhi, it will become Bhamaschame, Amaschame. But when it's continuous, we'll say Bhamaschame, Maschame. The me I have shaded because it belongs to the previous mantra. Okay. So the mantra itself is Amaschame. Amaschame. So here also, Amash, uh, in terms of uh, uh, pronunciation, it, everything should be simple. Amaschame. But there is Sandhi here, the simple word is Amaha. The Visarga has become Ish because of Sandhi. Amas Chame. But when we are chanting, we will we'll say Bhamas Chame, Mas Chame. Okay. Uh, Amas Chame. So Amaha, uh, it's not, it's, um, it's a word which is not commonly used. So I've used what the commentators have said. They say nature that cannot be deciphered by enemies. Okay, that's the meaning. Uh, one of the meaning of Amaha is unripe. Okay, unripe means something which has blossomed, but it has not ripened to something. Okay. So when it's not ripe, others can see. You know, for example, even anger wells in up. In its budding form, in a unripe form, people will not see it. At the, even inside, we will. There may be anger welling in us. We may not even realize it. Okay, so that cannot be easily deciphered. So we are asking, uh, even that not only deciphered by enemies, it cannot be deciphered. Period by us also. That there is anger welling in us. We will not know. Only when it comes to comes out, we will know. So we are asking the Lord, even when it is not even formed properly. Let that be beneficial. Because sometimes when it comes out, it may not be able to control. So we ask in the Lord, Amaschame Kalpatam. Even that anger which is unripe, which is not formed, it cannot be deciphered. Let that also be beneficial. Because you know, we don't even know, we don't even anticipate that we are going to get angry. So many times that happens to us. So that state of you know anger which is not even known to us which is welling up let that be beneficial now that's the prayer addressed to Sri Rudra <coughs> we look at the next mantra again I put mem bhas chame <coughs> when we chant we'll say mem bhas chame because of sandhi the A is silent and which is written here as an avagra. So the word is actually ambaschame. Ambaschame kalpata. Ambaschame kalpata. So now, um, in terms of mean uh, pronunciation, ambha. That bha is the fourth letter in the pavarga, so it has to be aspirated. Ambaschame. Okay, Ambaschame. Again, Sarga has become Ish because of Sandhi. So the simple word is Ambha. Okay. Ambha. <coughs> the word Ambha has a couple of meanings. One is it's cool, coolness. It also means water which is sweet. I don't know, many of you know the word Ambuja. You know, it comes from similar word Amba. Uh, so Amba is water. So we can say the reality is even our good nature, even when we are not angered, sometimes we are calm. That also should be beneficial, we ask him. Because when, some, when we should not be calm in situations, we should that also can cause harm. Uh, when we are talking sweetly in the wrong place, that is also harmful. So we are asking the Lord, let that nature, even that good nature of us, sweet nature of us, let that be also beneficial. Ambaschame kalpata. Okay. 
uh, for example for the child when the child is not doing something right and the pa the parent should not be uh, soft and encouraging they should be reprimanding okay so sometimes our good nature our loving nature also can cause harm um, so we ask in the lord let that also be beneficial <clears throat> let us encourage the right thing let us reprimand the wrong thing from a beneficial nature with the object of arriving at something beneficial for everyone <clears throat> so that's a prayer ambaschame kalpata okay we are praying to the lord we'll go to the next mantra je ma cha me je ma cha me je ma cha me in terms of pronunciation it should all be simple je ma cha me there are no sandhi changes the simple word is je ma the meaning is the capacity to win so our capacity to win let that also be beneficial you know ability to be victorious in doing something successfully let that also be beneficial because sometimes when we are victorious we can cause harm people may not benefit from it <laughs> so we asking our capacity to win let that also be beneficial so our prayer to the lord rudra is jemachame kalpata jemachame kalpata we look at the next mantra mahima chame mahima chame mahima chame um, no no difficult pronunciation uh, consonant so it should be pretty simple we look at the word mahima um see the mahima is whatever is achieved accomplished through whatever we have succeeded in okay generally it can be uh, power it can be wealth it can be ability to do many things which are commonly not achieved okay when we have accumulated skill wealth power whatever we will be able to do things which are not normally accomplished if we have that if we have that let that also be beneficial we are asking the lord mahimachame kalpata mahimachame kalpata okay so let good come out of that also so that is the prayer of this mantra we look at the next mantra bari ma chame bari ma chame bari ma chame yes sister hi ram brother i'm sorry to disturb you and the previous uh, slide you have uh, faded some letters right so um, uh, to uh, chant in a way uh, so is it possible for you to uh, just to uh, say that uh, three uh, lines because these these are clear lines right but okay. the other one is like a, some faded then you have to connect it in a way right okay so, thank you sir <clears throat> just uh, say yeah. yeah so the thing is these three mantras because of the avagraha so they are pronounced as bhamas chame mas chame bas chame bhamas chame mas chame bas chame bhamas chame mas chame bas chame okay okay thank you so you, much. okay but if you split it it will be bhamas chame amas chame ambaschame but we don't say it that way. we say bhamaschame maschame baschame baschame okay okay Thank so you. what happens is this may gets a little elongated 
భామశ్చమే మశ్చమే బశ్చమే ఏదంటే ఏ ఇన్క్లూడ్స్ ద ఆ ఆల్సో సో ఐ థింక్ వి ఆర్ ఇన్ వెరిమా ఓకే వెరిమాచమే కల్పత వెరిమాచమే వెరిమాచమే వెరిమా మీన్స్ వర మీన్స్ బెస్ట్ ఓకే వెరిమా మీన్స్ వెన్ పీపుల్ ఆనర్ యూ యాజ్ ద బెస్ట్ సో వెన్ యూ అచీవ్ that superiority that superlative status that status or that power that quality is called varima okay so what it basically is even when everyone honors you let that be also beneficial because that's generally not so beneficial to the person who is being honored because the ego starts growing <coughs> so we pray to the lord <coughs> even if we get that let that be beneficial let that be favorable let that be proper you know all that meaning comes from varimachame kalpata varimachame kalpata okay so we will go to the next mantra ప్రొనౌన్సియేషన్ ద సెకండ్ లెటర్ ప్రతి ఇస్ దెకండ్ లెటర్ ఇన్ ద థ వర్గ సో ఇట్ హెస్ బి అస్పిరేట్ ప్రతి ఓకే విత్ ఎక్స్ట్రా ఇయర్ థి ప్రతి మాచమే ఓకే దట్స్ ఓన్లీ వన్ లెటర్ యు హెట్ బి అటెన్షన్ టు in terms of pronunciation we look at the meaning prathima um we i was um, doing some research basically all sorts of accumulation you know because of wealth properties which may acquire let that also be beneficial let that be favorable ప్రతిమాచమే కల్పత హౌ డు బికమ్ బెనిఫిషియల్ బికాస్ ఓన్లీ బై ఆఫరింగ్ ఇట్ ద లాడ్ ఓకే ఎవ్రీథింగ్ వట్ ఎవర్ వీ హ్ స్టడీ సో ఫార్ వట్ ఎవర్ వీ హెడ్ ఆల్సో బికాస్ చమకం ఈస్ ఆల్ అబౌట్ యజ్ఞ ఆఫరింగ్ ఇన్ టు ద ఫైర్ యాజ్ అన్ ఆఫరింగ్ టు ద లాడ్ సో బై ప్రతిమాచమే కబ్లెట్ మీ ఆఫర్ వట్ ఎవర్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు యూ సో దట్ ది ఆల్ బి బెనిఫిషియల్ is the prayer prathimachame kalpata prathimachame kalpata so you know general people think you know if you offer ghee and do this you will get all this but actually it's the other way oh lord whatever i have let me offer to you when we offer to the lord it will come back 100 fold but then that has to be also offered back to the lord so we ask in the lord what if if i get something let it be beneficial let me be able to offer it to you that way we have to look at this mantra prathimachame kalpata look at the next mantra <clears throat> varshma chame varshma chame varshma chame in terms of pronunciation the only letter you have to pay attention to is ish this ir ish this ish is cerebral sh the tip of the tongue should point up varshma chame um generally the commentators have said they are all the children and grandchildren the progeny and the lineage okay um should be beneficial the reality is if anyone who is born and they have progeny and they have children let that child you know um, that lineage let it be beneficial we ask the lord okay the purpose of um, having a family getting children is all for the benefit of the world we pro we are giving uh, 
a contributor to the society. Uh, they had to be brought up in a way so that they can benefit the world, not for benefiting themselves, not that they should be leading a comfortable life. They should be all beneficial. They should be favorable to the world. That is the purpose of having children and grandchildren. So we ask in the Lord, oh Lord, let our children, grandchildren, let them be beneficial. Okay, Varshmachame Kalpata, Varshmachame Kalpata. So sometimes people uh, think, you know, if you chant this, you will get good children, you know, they will be very successful, they will study well, earn well, live very comfortably as rich. But it's the other way around. You know, it is, if we get children, there should be benefit to the society. We pray to the Lord, they'll let them be beneficial to the world. Okay, Varshmachame <clears> Kalpatam. <throat> We we'll look at the next mantra. Dra ghuya chame. Dra ghuya chame. Dra ghuya chame. In terms of pronunciation, the second letter is ghu. This ghu is the fourth letter in the kavarga. So it has to be aspirated. Mahaprana. Okay. Dra ghuya chame. Okay, so pay attention to that. Um, so that the ghu is, ch is chanted or spoken with some extra air. Okay, raghu yajam. So the word draghu, draghuya, dra means that which flows. Okay, Draghuya Chame. So, the way commentators have uh, commented on this, you know, I could not find any proper meaning for this word through my research. So, I'm going with what the commentators have said. But the word Dra means that which flows. So, the lineage that flows from whatever we have said earlier, let that also be beneficial. So, our children's and their lineage grandchildren, their lineage, let that also be beneficial because we are, whether we knowingly or unknowingly, we, are, we have put a seed which is going to grow and it's going to flow from there. We ask the Lord that that also be beneficial. Raghuyachame Kalpata. Raghuyachame Kalpata. We look at the next... Uh, <clears throat> Mantra Pridham Chame Pridham Chame Pridham Chame. In terms of pronunciation, uh, this there's a compound consonant with and the with and the. So the second letter in that compound consonant is the fourth letter in the. The first letter in the consonant is third letter in the Thavarga. But the second letter in the compound consonant is the fourth letter in the Thavarga, which is aspirated. So it has to be Vridham. Vridha. Okay. So Vridham Chame. So we have to just pay attention to that. So Vridham is uh, the the commentators have generally said abundant wealth and food. Okay, whatever we have accumulated in terms of food and wealth, let them be beneficial. Vridham chame kalpata, vridham chame kalpata. The next mantra is vridhis chame. Vridhis Chame. Vridhis Chame. Uh, <clears throat> again, um, the Visarga has become 
in terms of uh, pronunciation the in the the again it's fourth letter in the third verga so it has to be aspirated vriddhi okay vriddhi is chami uh, visarga vidriddhi has become ish because of santhi vriddhi vriddhi means growth in general that which is you know, abundance but here the commentators have uh, separated uh, sorry distinguished vriddham and vriddhi as vriddhi as something where you learn through knowledge learning you growth in terms of knowledge um, so that's the way the commentators have uh, um, explained so we'll go with that vriddhi chame so let the knowledge through which we have grown let them be beneficial to the world okay let them you put to beneficial usage favorable or let me offer it to you all lord okay that we also we can take so vridhis chame kalpatam vridhis chame kalpatam <clears throat> so the next one is satyam chame satyam chame satyam chame i think everyone is familiar with it so i don't have to go into too many detail satyam means speaking truth or truth swami has spoken a lot about truth um, so i will not dwell on it um, so we will uh, move on <coughs> in terms of pronunciation it should be pretty simple Shraddha Chame. Shraddha Chame. Shraddha Chame. Uh, in terms of pronunciation, again, Idha, the second letter in this compound consonant, Idha, is Mahaprano aspirator, so fourth letter in the Ta Varga. So it has to be. Uh, said with some extra air shraddha chame shraddha i think everyone is uh, very familiar with the word shraddha uh, generally it is sometimes uh, uh, tra translated as faith but it's much more than that um, shraddha means steady faith that which you know unwavers and there's an earnestness to achieve something and all these qualities form what is called shraddha unwavering earnest faith and effort also to achieve something all that is shraddha so the reality is in human beings we do a lot of things with earnestness you do things with lot of shraddha but we ask in the lord so that our, that shraddha that quality of shraddha which we have let be be put to beneficial usage okay so shraddha chame kalpata <clears throat> uh, we look at the next mantra jagat chame jagat chame jagat chame pronunciation wise uh, i don't think there's anything difficult here i would just like to point out that there is a sandhi here jagat chame is the sandhi split this it has become ich because of sandhi okay that's how you get jagat chame but the simple the word un <coughs> Uh, when removed from the santi is jagat okay so jagat chame kalpata means jagat means jagat is any movable so i have put the first part but the commentators have that movable cattle etc you know what we have 
quiet, which are moving, which moving around, you know, that kind of meaning they have given. But I have um, given a separate meaning. All that comes and goes. In our, in our life, many things come to us and they leave us also. And Jagat is also this creation where everything is born and everything dies. All that we have access in this world, which comes and goes, which is born and dies, we are asking the Lord, let all of them be beneficial. Jagat chame kalpatam, Jagat chame kalpatam. In this world, we come across many things which come to us and go, let them all be beneficial. Jagat chame kalpatam. <clears throat> but the commentators have talked about cattle uh, because you know it's followed by dhanam, okay, wealth. So we'll look at the next mantra, which is dhanam chame, dhanam chame, dhanam chame. In terms of pronunciation, the first letter is dh, which is the fourth letter in the third varga, so it has to be aspirated, okay. Dhanam chame. Dhanam chame. Dhanam means wealth. Money, gold, all that is signified by dhanam. So we ask in the Lord, let the money which is with me, let the wealth which I have, let them be beneficial. Let it be put to beneficial usage. Whatever we use it for, let that become beneficial to everyone, favorable, proper. Let me offer it to you. All those meanings come in this mantra, dhanam chame kalpatam, dhanam chame kalpatam. I have an excerpt uh, on Shraddha. <clears throat> so let me just read it. Shraddha is very important. Shraddha van labhate jnanam. With sincerity, wisdom is born. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna said, One with Shraddha can attain me. He further declared, I am the very embodiment of Shraddha. One without Shraddha cannot accomplish even a small task. Especially in the field of spirituality, Shraddha is very essential. Strong and unwavering faith leads to Shraddha. The Upanishads have expounded the principle of Shraddha in varied ways. Wisdom attained through Shraddha is Tarakam, liberation. Lack, lack of Shraddha is Marakam, bondage. The eternal principle of Tarakam must be understood, practiced and propagated. This is the fundamental teaching of Taitriya Upanishad. <clears throat> this is a discourse Swami gave during his birthday in 2002. They are actually in the, if you listen to the audio version, it's a very long description of what Shraddha is. Um, the abridged uh, available, uh, text available, it does not give all the details. If any of you can uh, listen to that full discourse, it will be beneficial. Where Swami is clearly uh, describing what Shraddha is in many, many ways. Okay. Okay, let's look at the next mantra. Vashaschame. 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 In terms of pronunciation, there is nothing of difficulty here, should be. Vashaha is the word. Uh, the Visarga has become ish due to Sandhi. Vashaha means bringing all under control subjugation that means you have control over people people are on your side they are under your command um, you know that's called vasha okay so if we have that quality if every, whoever is under our control under our and subjugated to us that they will listen and do what we say that let that be beneficial vashashchame kalpata Vashashchame Kalpatam. 
ಅಶಿಷ್ಟನೆ ಕಲ್ಪತ ವಿ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಲಾಡ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ತ್ವಿಷಿಶ್ಚಮೆ 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 ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೊನೌನ್ಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ದ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸಾರಿ ಸ್ಟೆರಿಬರ್ ಶ ಸೊ ದ ಟಂಗ್ ಟಿಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟಂಗ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಪ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ತ್ವಿಷಿಶ್ಚಮೆ the simple word is tushihi tushihi the visarga has become ish as you can see tushihi means splendor and beauty okay the the light which emanates from him shine the light which shines is tushi <coughs> so you can even say some charisma people have what's called charisma uh, you know they able to there's something some uh, radiance which affects people let that also be beneficial if whatever we possess let that be beneficial to the world tushishchame kalpatam tushishchame kalpatam or you can say you know we are asking the lord give us that charisma which is of beneficial nature that beauty you know that we also we can look at let it me offer it to you tushishchame kalpata the next mantra is krida chame krida chame krida chame krida um, there's no consonant which is difficult to pronounce so it should be simple krida chame krida means play <clears throat> so anything in which we uh, indulge as a play Uh, our playfulness let that also be beneficial krida chame kalpata okay when we play then let that also be beneficial our play itself be is beneficial we look at the next mantra ಮೋದಶ್ಚಮೆ 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 ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೊನೌನ್ಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಮೋದ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಅದರ್ ನೋ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋದ ವಿಸರ್ಗ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಇಶ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಂಧಿ ಮೋದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಲೈಟ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ if what have happens is more the let our happiness let it be also beneficial okay all human beings want happiness <coughs> let that be beneficial modas chame kalpata asking the lord the next mantra is jatam chame jatam chame jatam chame no difficult consonants here also the simple uh, mantra jatam jatam means children born that's the meaning the commentators have given but you can say whoever is born whoever is born is jatam whoever is born in our in our circle let that be them be beneficial if anything is any one is born let them be beneficial to the world we are praying to the lord okay jatam chame kalpata we look at the next mantra janishya marnam chame janishya marnam chame janishya marnam chame in terms of pronunciation uh, janish that ish is the cerebral sh so the tip of the tongue should point up janish ya ma the next word is na okay it is uh, many times we pronounce it as janish ya manam no it's manam chame janish ya manam chame <coughs> the na is uh, more the harder na 
ओके जनिष्य मारण चुने जनिष्य मारण मींस चिल्ड्रन येट टू बी बोर्न दैट्स द मीन मीनिंग ऑफ द कमेंटेटर्स एनीथिंग हुवर इज टू बी बोर्न इट डसन हैव टू बी चिल्ड्रन हुवर इज टू बी बोर्न लेट देम बी बेनिफिशियल not only once children anyone to be born in this world you know so we should look at when the the rishis were contemplating they were looking whoever is born let them be beneficial whoever is to be born also let them be beneficial is for everyone's sake uh, the mantra is actually for worldly benefit for the entire world the entire society so all the children yet to be born let them also be beneficial so you it's a blessing it's a prayer janishyamanam chame kalpata it also can be said that you know they felt that uh, the world needs people let them be beneficial children be born let the future generations be good that also is a prayer okay Uh, we will uh, have a small excerpt from Swami. Let's read it because it relates to the mantra Moda Shami. Moda, okay. Moda comes from the word Muda. Okay, so the, it's another uh, derivation is Mudita. So Swami has spoken about it. So I thought I will just uh, give an excerpt. Mudita. appreciation this quality relates to the attitude to be shown toward those who are better off than you you should feel happy when you see such persons they may look wealthier than you or better placed than you in position and possessions you should feel happy on seeing them you should rejoice at the sight of persons holding higher positions or scoring higher marks mudita means freedom from envy and feeling happy over the better fortunes of others when we looked at modas chame we just said delight but see swami uses uh, there are four qualities how love manifests maitri karuna mudita peksha um, i will not go into the other words Uh, because it's digression but mudita is one quality and swami says that is when you see everyone doing well you should be happy that happiness let it be beneficial that is modascham okay moda so i thought i will uh, accept that so next mantra <clears throat> सूक्तम चमे सूक्तम चमे सूक्तम चमे सूक्तम इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रोनाउंसिएशन इट शुड बी प्रिटी सिंपल देर आर नो डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सनेट्स नो एस्पिरेटेड कॉन्सनेट्स सूक्तम इज ग्रुप ऑफ रिक्स यू नो कलेक्शन ऑफ मंत्रास निरक्वेद इज कॉल सूक्त Okay, we will have Narayana Suktam, Purusha Suktam, uh, these other Suktams which get chanted, Meeda Suktam, Shri Suktam, Durga Suktam, and so on. So they are collection of mantras. It's called Suktam. So we are asking even the Suktams which we chant, which we study, let them be beneficial. Let me learn Suktams which are beneficial. That way also we can say Suktam Chame Kalpata. सुक्तम तम चमे कल्पता द नेक्स्ट मंत्र इज सुकृतम सुकृतम चमे सुकृतम चमे सुकृतम चमे इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रोनाउंसिएशन नथिंग शुड बी डिफिकल्ट एक्सेप्ट आई हैव जस्ट पॉइंट आउट सुकृ Uh, so sometimes we say sukrutam or sometimes sukritam kru or kri uh, they are not correct it should be pronounced as kr kr sukritam sukritam chame 
because r that's ik plus r the vowel r is attached to ik so that's how you get krish so it's the same uh, kri for krishna so on okay yes sister uh, sai i'm sorry again the what is that meaning you have put it underneath of suktam chame group of group of rik rik <coughs> or ruk, um, that's it. Ruk means sister. Rigveda. In Rigveda, all the mantras which are there are called riks. They are poetic mantras. Uh, even in um, some of our um, Anuvaka, first two Anuvakas, first Anuvaka of uh, Rudram also, we came across some mantras which are all rik mantras. Like Om Namo Bhagavate Rudra, Om Namaste Rudra, many of they are called Riks. They are poems, which are mantras. They are called Rik. That is how the word Rigveda comes. Rigveda contains all Rik, Rik mantras. The Yajur Veda also contains Riks. Riks are basically mantras. So maybe I would say mantras. Yeah. So, Okay, I hope. Thank you. Okay, I hope thank you. Yeah, clear. Okay. So here also I would say. Something like that. <clears throat> so the next mantra is Sukritam Chame. I here also I have taken the comment, uh, the meaning given by the commentators. But Sukritam means all good deeds. Good deeds. Sukritam. Kritam means what is already done. Su means auspicious, good. So Sukritam means all good deeds done by us. And that we also see. Sometimes we may do a good deed, it may not result in something beneficial for others. So that, that depends on the Lord. So we are asking the Lord, Sukritam Chame Kalpata. We may think we are doing something good and do, but let there be some benefit to that. So that's the prayer. Sukritam Chame Kalpata. But here the commentators have it. By chanting these ruks, you are getting Sukritam. You are doing something good. By chanting these mantras. That's the way that the commentators have taken. So I have just left it as is. I provided it as is. But Sukrita means good deeds, meritorious deeds. Now, can you be should uh, put there? Okay, something like that. <clears throat> we look at the next mantra. Vittam chame, vittam chame, vittam chame. Uh, very simple word, so it should be simple for all of you to chant. Vittam is wealth which is earned by us, is vittam. Yeah, you can say, you know, dhanam we looked at vittam. Vittam is whatever we have earned. All the wealth we have earned, money we have earned, is with them. Um, that's the meaning which is given, so I've just taken it as, though you can differentiate with, with them can be all kinds of things which are earned, wealth. Okay. Next mantra is Vedyam Chame, Vedyam Chame, Vedyam Chame. Um, should be pretty simple in terms of chanting where there are no hard consonants, no aspirated consonants. Uh, Vedyam means I think, to be acquired. What is to be acquired? What is to be learned? Okay, so we ask in the Lord. 
whatever I am going to acquire, whatever I am going to learn, let it be beneficial. Vedyam chame kalpata. As you can see, it's all, whatever happened in the past, also we are asking the Lord it to be beneficial. Whatever is going to happen in the future, also we are asking the Lord to be beneficial. Okay, we, as you can see, that's the, the train of thought in the mantras. That's the train, the trend we are seeing, and that's how the commentators have also commented on. The next mantra is Bhutam Chame. Bhutam Chame. Bhutam Chame. The, in terms of pronunciation, the first letter is Bhu, which is the fourth letter in the Pavarga. So that has to be aspirated. Okay, Bhutam Chame. <coughs> so Bhutam Bhuta means whatever is past. Whatever has is already with me. Whatever has happened, all that comes under Bhuta. Bhuta means past. Okay. So let all the past be also beneficial. You see, the, it's a very interesting mantra because most times the past sometimes bothers us a lot. Especially if something bad has happened in the past, we can never forget. Um, you know, we will always dwell on it. So we're asking, let whatever has passed, let it be also beneficial. Then let's move on. In a beneficial way, uh, so Bhutam Chame Kalpata, we are asking the Lord. Okay, let that be beneficial and favorable, and let's move on. The next mantra is Bhavishya Chame, Bhavishya Chame, Bhavishya Chame. Uh, in terms of pronunciation, the first letter is Bha, okay, Bha, which is fourth letter in the Pavarga. So it has to be aspirated. Then wish. That is ishis, cerebral shah, the tip of the tongue should point up. Those are the two as two consonants you need to pay attention to. Here also the uh, there's santi, bhavishyat chame, the it has become itch because of santi. Okay, that's how it becomes. Bhavishyat Chame, though originally it should be Bhavishyat Chame. Okay. Bhavishyat means future. Bhuta is past, Bhavishyat is future. See, the past and future always causes problem. Okay. Future is always worry, you know, fear, something can happen. Something has happened, we worry about it. Uh, past and future always affect us, so we are asking the Lord, let those be beneficial so that we don't have to think about them. Okay? We are asking the Lord, let the future be also beneficial. Okay? Uh, so that is the meaning <coughs> of Bhuta Bhutam Chami Bhavishya Chami. Yes, Brother Kumar. Uh, Sairam brother, a quick question that the first one, the Bhutam Chame, I thought, is it nothing to do with the previous birth? It's just during this birth or past? Everything in the past, brother. Okay. So, everything in the past. So, the See, in, the spiritual, in the spiritual field, the, the sadhaka always thinks I am the Atman, I have okay. always existed. So, okay. All right. We are talking. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Thank you, brother. Thank you. <laughs> It's all about who we identify with. Yes, right. Yes. I got that. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, sister, I don't know. You have a question. <clears throat> On the same mantra, Bhutam Chame, is that the Bhutam, uh, is that the same, uh, or is changing here, the context is changed here, based on the mantra? Why? What has changed, sister? The Bhutam, the five Bhutam, uh, Bhuta, uh, that's a spell. Uh, 
Is that is yes. it the same? Thing? Yeah, because this is Bhutam has many so in some places. Is. People think you know Bhutam means some ghost also. People, you know, Bhutam means people who have lived before, now they are in some form, that is Bhutam. So but you are talking about the elements. Elements. Of Bhutas. Yeah. They are they have existed always. They were created first. Oh. Okay, that's why they are called Bhutam. They are nothing else in this world. Outside of this Pancha Bhutas, you can't find this. anything. Okay, okay. Okay, they are the only thing which have existed, will exist and uh, are existing today. So yes, they are, means that which came to be. Bhuta means sister, what, whatever came to be. So the Pancha Bhutas are the five building blocks which have come to be. There's nothing else in this world. Everything which we see is a combination of these Pancha Bhutas. Uh, whether in the subtle form, gross form, or that's the way. But in that sense, yeah, they are the same. But that's a derived meaning. But the meaning is past. Okay. Bhuta means that which has existed. Thank that which you. came to be. Okay. okay. <clears throat> in, in another sense, for example, if I see an object here, uh, you know, if I take a stone or something like that, <clears throat> today it is a stone. But before it was a stone, it was the Panjabhutas. In the past it was the Panjabhutas, today it is a stone. So everything in this world is, though we see something, they were all Panja Bhutas before, in the past. Today they are in this form. So originally everything was the Panja Bhuta. Okay, so I hope. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So the next mantra is Suganchami. Suganchami, Suganchami. I think it should be simple. Sugamchami means good progress. Su means good. Gam means movement, progress. Move, gam is movement. Good movement means good progress. Whatever we have made, let that progress also be beneficial. Suganchame Kalpata, Suganchame Kalpata. Because uh, we have all moved till today. Today we are in a, in a certain position. We, as human beings, we have come here. Through past lives, we have continuously progressed and we have reached here. Let that progress of ours be beneficial. That means let us progress for, further rather than deteriorate. You know, that we also we can take. The next uh, mantra is Supatham Chame. Supatham Chame. Supatham Chame. I put my within brackets because when we chant, you will see Supatham Chama. It's the way it's chanted because the may has become ma because of Sandhi. But without Sandhi, it is Supatham Chame. Uh, Supatham, we have looked at Pathi Nam, Pathaye Namaha and all that. <coughs> Patha means path. Patha is path. Supatham means good path. Let the paths which we travel on be good and let them be beneficial. So we talk about Sugam, progress, and the paths which we are going to continue on, or Margam. Let them be also beneficial. Supatham Jame Kalpata. Is that me? Um, in terms of pronunciation, Patham, that's a Patha. Tha is second letter in the Thalaga, so it has to be aspirated. Okay. Supatham Jame. Okay, we'll look at the next mantra. Riddham. Chame Riddham Chame Riddham Chame 
Here also I put ma within brackets because while chanting riddham chama riddhis chami, like the way it's pronounced. So the may actually becomes ma because of sandhi. Okay. Riddham, this is similar to vriddham, you know. Riddham. Um, the what you need to pay attention to is that dha, dha is aspirated, second letter in that dha compound consonant. So just pay attention to them. Riddham. Riddham. Um, I've just taken the meaning of commentators. Fruit of karmas performed so far. All the past karmas, whatever we have collected. Okay. Another meaning of rhythm is stored grains, our storage. You know, um, so we have collected grains. So karmas also we have collected and stored. Let them all be beneficial. Okay, the karmas are going to come into fruition. Whenever they come into fruition, let them be beneficial. That's the prayer. Riddham chame kalpata. Next mantra is Riddhis chame. Riddhis chame. Riddhis chame. Uh, pronunciation wise, it's the same thing as Riddhi. So, uh, so Riddhi, the second letter in the Riddhi should be aspirated. Okay. Riddhis chame. The Visarga has become Ish. Otherwise, the word is Riddhi. So, Riddham is whatever we have collected. Riddhi is what is to be collected also. Agamya karmas, you know, whatever is going to come, the karma which we are going to perform, let them also be beneficial. So that's a prayer to Sri Rudra. Riddhischame kalpata. Okay. <clears throat> the next mantra is Kliptam Chame. Kliptam Chame. Klip <laughs> In terms of pronunciation, you have to pay attention to clue. I don't think we have come across this often, or oh, maybe never so far in the Rudram Chamakam. Clue is plus l, which is the which is a vowel which is very rare in its usage. Okay, it should not be pronounced as lu or li. Okay, it's kl. Just if it Krishna, it's kliptam. Li. Okay, just pay attention to that. Kliptam tami. Okay, kliptam tami. Otherwise, it should be simple. Kliptam is whatever we have kept ready for doing something, whatever we have collected and arranged. To do something, you know, let them be beneficial. So that means it can be skills, wealth, um, items for doing, performing a yajna, whatever we have collected and arranged and organized and ready to use, let them all be beneficial, is the prayer. All the things which we have in our hand, ready to be employed. Let them all be beneficial. Kliptam chame kalpata. Kliptam chame kalpata. The next mantra is Kliptis chame. Kliptis chame. Kliptis chame. The, again, the say, first compound consonant, Kl, is it's not a compound consonant, it's just a consonant with the vowel. Kl. Pay attention to that, otherwise it should be okay. Simple word is kliptihi. kliptihi. So just the way kliptam is whatever we acquired. Klipti is what is to be acquired. All the materials which we are going to arrange, get ready, let them also be beneficial. It's the 
பிரிய கிளிப்திஷ்டமே கல்பதா லுக் அட் த நெக்ஸ்ட் மந்த்ர மதிஷ்டமே 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 a uh, pronunciation wise it should be simple simple uh, word it says matihi the visarga has become ish matihi means a state of mind you can say okay matihi state of mind uh, determination this is the uh, meaning given by his commentator so i have just used it. determination of ordinary matters in normal things you know we make up our mind we have a certain cultivate a state of mind let our state of mind be beneficial matischame kalpata matischame kalpata the last mantra of the sakana anvaka is sumatischame 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 should be also very simple the mantra itself is sumatihi visarga has become ish sumatihi means good determination matihi with the added prefix su means good determination we are asking let our good determination also be beneficial sumatischame kalpata sumatischame kalpata I have an excerpt of Swami, so let's read that then. <clears throat> When the wind changes, the same person is disliked. Even the good he does strikes us as bad. Both these reactions are misconceived. They are not commendable at all. in the sumati shataka there's verse that teaches this lesson o person with good intelligence sumati know that even if friendship is strong when a wrong becomes right and right becomes wrong then friendship disappears the student has to transform themselves into a person good intelligence a sumati and avoid turning into a person with perverted polluted intelligence durmati a huge heap of fuel can be reduced to ashes by a tiny spark of fire a drop of poison can render a pot of milk totally undrinkable envy and hatred are the sparks that destroy the cluster of virtues in people so swami is nicely explaining sumati see sometimes we have good intentions but if one drop of poison enters that then become bad so swami has given the meaning uh, you know we equated with milk milk is very beneficial but if a drop of poison enters it's bad it can be harmful so that's why we pray to the lord let our sumati which we have good intentions let that always remain beneficial sumati chame kalpata because nothing is in our hand even our good mathi also is not in our hand it's only in the lord's hand with our lord's help that also can turn bad so we are praying to the lord so that that good intentions good determination remains good and beneficial at all times so as you can see the anti sakan anvaka basically takes every aspect of our individuality an extension of our personality and ask the lord to bless us with something which is beneficial and so that whatever comes out of that is also beneficial that is the prayer of the sakana anvaka of chamaka it has covered almost everything which is an extension of our individuality 
and how we interact with the world. And we pray to the Lord, Lord, let them all be beneficial. Let us all offer it to you so that you make them all beneficial. That's the intention and the prayer of the second Anuvarka of Chamaka. So I will stop here. It's 7.27. It's 10.27. Um, I don't know whether I'm packing too much into one class, but I thought uh, uh, it's good enough for you all to understand the meaning and the mantras in the Vedam, the pronunciation and so on. So I will stop here. If there are any questions, uh, we can discuss. Sairam. Sairam Aunty, can I guess Aunty? I don't know, it's not, not a question and I don't know, today we finished a hundredth class. Sairam and thanks to you and to Swami. That's Thank you very much Aunty, thank you. Thanks for your encouragement. No, it's Swami's grace, you know, we are sitting at home and listening to all this. Sairam. Om. Samastha loka sukhino bhavantu. Samastha loka sukhino bhavantu. Samastha loka sukhino bhavantu. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Tailam. Thank you, Saira. Saira.